Hi guys, welcome back. It's Ali Mom. Today I am doing an unboxing of a candy box, we'll say. Um, Japanese candy box plus a few extras from a TikTok creator called uh, Tastely Box. They are an online candy company. Um, mystery boxes and different things that they will ship. Uh, they're based in Canada. Ontario. It's uh, Polly and James, a husband and wife team. They have a couple of small children. They started this company because of COVID and being stuck at home. It's something they've been wanting to do for years and they finally decided since they were home anyways, why not bite the bullet and try and start this company? So they did out in Ontario. And three weeks ago, um, when they were on TikTok, they decided to announce and open their online shop and since then they have had tons of orders and had to expand and starting tomorrow um, their online shop tastelybox.com I will put um, that down in the description below um, they're going to be bringing out a bunch of new stock some new uh, candy boxes so far um, that I know of, they have a Japan candy box, which of course is what I got. There's a British box, a Canadian box, a US box, I think there's a movie box, and uh, maybe a birthday box or something. I could be wrong, there might be another one. And then of course, individual candies, different candies that you can get from all of those countries. So it's it's pretty cool, and now there's some new stuff that's going to be coming out. So make sure you check out their shop, check out their TikTok Tastely Box, because I think they're going to get quite big. But anyways, let's get this started. This is the box. This is how it came. Right here is um, Tastely Box, right there, their P.O. Let's get this open. Pretty decent size box. I got the small uh, Japan box. They also had a large at the time I ordered. They may have had medium before that, but I know that they were sold out of a ton of stuff when I jumped on there and got the Japan box. So I would have actually waited a little longer, but they happened to have put up a TikTok of a new shipment of Japan candy. So I figured... I should uh, try and order some, and on that particular TikTok they put out, one of the items they had from the Japan candy that came in was Poiful Jelly Beans. And I don't know if any of you have tried them. I got them, um, a couple boxes of them, when I went to uh, the Japan market in Vancouver. Did a video about that earlier. I tried them and they are the best jelly beans I've ever had in my life. Better than the jelly bellies, anything. I love them. I'm addicted and I saw those and as soon as I did, I jumped on the website and ordered myself one. And then um, kind of begged for them to put a poiful in my box. So hopefully that accidentally fell in. So this is how it comes. I took the paper packaging off. Very nicely packaged. Beautiful logo. Tastely box. Today looks sweet. That's cute. Now let's get this open. So besides the small Japan box, um, I also ordered 200 grand bars because if any of you have been following me at all for any length of time you would know that I love love 100 grand bars so I had to get some and then I ordered some other gummies oozy things I can't remember but they just sounded interesting like something I'd want to try so I got a couple of those so I think they're warheads or something, but they're some kind of oozy gummy thing. So this is the box opened. It's all pretty, and there's a couple cards here. 
pretty pink route. So I've got their business card. Excellent. So I'll definitely put everything up there. They have their website, uh, www.tastelybox.ca. Sorry if I said .com earlier, I meant .ca. Um, they also have a TikTok at Tastelybox. And they're also on Instagram at Tastelybox. And I will put all that down below. I don't know. See, and it's all backwards anyway. So I, I will put that down below in the description. And then a nice little thank you card. It says, you're so sweet. Thank you for supporting small. Polly and James here. We are the owners of Tastely Box. And we just wanted to extend a huge thank you for your purchase. As a family-run small business, support from amazing people such as yourself not only brings us so much joy, but also helps us support our family. If you ever need any help with your order, future orders, or anything at all, please feel free to contact us at help at tastelybox.ca. We'll be happy to help. Thanks so much for supporting us, and we hope to see you again soon. Sincerely, Polly and James. See, that's the kind of good old small business Canadian company I like to support, especially when their business is candy. That always helps. So we open it up. Yes. Oh, I forgot I got that too. Yes. So we open it up, and this is what it looks like inside. Look at the deliciousness in there, guys. And do you see this? Do you see this? Poiful. Very excited. So let's first do the stuff, rather stuff in the box. Oh, and my treat is awesome too. So I've noticed um, that they post on TikTok, they post a lot of um, the orders that they do for people, you know, as they pack. And I've noticed that a lot of times uh, Polly will throw an extra treat as a thank you into the box. And I just noticed she threw one into mine and the treat she threw into mine is something I absolutely love. So I'm very thrilled about it because I was kind of humming and hawing about buying one of those. So I'm happy I, uh, I didn't because I got one anyways. But first up, um, we have a quarter pound peanut butter cup. Yum. I love peanut butter cups. Can't wait. Looks delicious. But I'm going to hold off on trying this yet. Because Sydney, as a lot of you know, is addicted to chocolate peanut butter things and peanut butter cups. And if I eat that peanut butter cup without her, it might not go over very well. Um, my treat that I got in the box, my extra little thank you, was a Cadbury's Flake Bar, which are awesome. We have them out here. I believe it's British, but they're delicious and I love them and... Very happy about that. And then, of course, had to get 100 ground bars because if I see a 100 ground bar, I buy it. So I bought two because I wasn't sure when I would see them again. And then we went on the weekend back to the cabin and went to a dollar store, of all things, on the Sunshine Coast. And they had a box of 100 ground bars. So I bought like three or four of them. Who knew? But I've, those are all gone, so of course, they were gone like before we left the cabin. So I'm glad these ones came. They came actually early, but said it wasn't going to come till next week, so I'm happy they came now. Uh, next up, we've got two of these. This is the other extra candy I bought because I was just curious to try them, and yes, I will try one today. It is Warheads Ooze, Ooze Chews Fruity Flavors. Sour chewy candy filled with ooze. Anything that they, any kind of food item that say it has ooze in it is not really a big, part of my teeth, not really a big selling point for me, but I thought it's super sour. I'm not a huge fan of super sour, but I'm willing to try super sour for you guys. And ooze just sounded, uh, you know, something I wouldn't normally get, so why not get it and try it out? And I have enough kids here in the house that if I don't like it, somebody will. I know they like sour candy, so let's give this one a shot. We got the ooze chews, and then we'll check out the Japanese box.
it's good. Not nearly as sour as I expected it to be. Which I guess is good because then I'll eat more of them. They're good. It's got a good texture. I wouldn't say it's oozy. But it's definitely a much softer texture on the inside. But anyway, so here's the Japan box. Let's see what we've got. Some things I recognize. Some things I don't because I eat a lot of Japanese treats and sweets. I like to try new things. And because I play all the Japanese online claw machines and stuff and watch a lot of um, Japanese-based YouTubers, I kind of am drawn towards the Japanese stuff because I see them trying it. So I'm a little more willing to taste test some of that stuff that I don't know of because I see a lot of other people trying it and if I like it great if I don't I don't but I don't know it just I don't know I'm silly that way anyways let's get into it we have got the poifel and these are good these are the pop soda flavored ones there's four different flavors in this they also have uh fruit flavored poifel which are also really really good but these ones I love because they are they're really unique. They're different. Like there's a cola one. There's a lemon one. I believe there's a cider one. I can't remember what the other flavor is, but they're so good. They're so good. The flavor is super intense. The chew is delicious. Like it's, it's not your regular jelly bean. It's a little chewier, but I, these are awesome. And I'm, I'm in the middle of making dinner. That's kind of why I'm doing this in the kitchen. But, yeah, if I opened that up right now, it would be gone. It would be gone. It would be, uh, yeah, sad, sad state of affairs. But I am willing to try some stuff. So we've got, ooh, I'll save that for later because I've had these before. High chews. This is a sweet and sour watermelon. I, I don't think I've ever had a sweet and sour high chew. Some of these things, if you guys are interested, I could do another little video, um, maybe tomorrow or on the weekend and we could try some of these things so you guys can see what they're like see my reaction this is a biz milk milk chocolate haven't tried that one before looking forward to that and then a, a milk chocolate i've had these i've won these on the claw machines before i've put them in mystery boxes before they're good Oh, okay, cool. We got a muscat gummy candy. I'm not sure if I've tried the muscat. I think I have. But I'm pretty sure I have and I like them. Oh, I think this is a milk candy. I would try a lot of these, but a lot of these are gummies. And I'm, I don't want to, like, not be able to talk to you guys the whole time. Ooh, we've got a couple... Hard candies. One is cola. Oh, my ugly fingernails. Sorry, guys. It's gross. I know. Um, one's cola. And this one is a uh, lychee. Be excited to try the lychee. And then I believe this is a matcha flavored Kit Kat. These are delicious. I like the matcha green tea Kit Kats. Then we've got uh, strawberry Pocky. Who doesn't like Pocky? Pocky's awesome. Any kind of Pocky is delicious. I like the uh, almond crunch. If you guys have tried that, it's chocolate coated with crushed almonds on it. And then we've got the strawberry panda cookies. These are cute. We'll we'll have a couple of these to show you guys those. And then these are little chocolate cookies. They look like pine cones. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but to me they look like a pine cone. But that's them. The bottom and inside is like a biscuit, like a it's the plain cookie and then it's dipped in the chocolate and it's made to look like whatever that is supposed to be but I think it looks like a pine cone and then of course sad Tokyo Olympic mascot and of course the Olympics didn't happen so that's too bad but let's try a couple of these because these are really good and they're really cute sorry I have to keep using my teeth because it's some childproof kind of packaging and I 
suck at that kind of packaging. But look at these cookies. Aren't they cute? They're little koala bears, and they're all different. This one's got a karate outfit on. I can't really see, but... They're filled with strawberry cream. And they're really good. That's the thing about the Japanese candy. It's not super sweet. And then the last thing is this thing. I'm not sure what it is. It's a little biscuit wafer thing. But we will try that on another video. Because I gotta finish dinner. I gotta get it started. Potatoes are cooking. I gotta get the the roast beef on. Get that cooking because I'm hungry and hubby's home. So let me know what you guys thought of this box. The Tastely box from TikTok and Instagram. It's Canadian based. They're gonna have some good deals. They're gonna have some free shipping options for some people. So Make sure you check them out, tastelybox.ca. They're fantastic. And uh, let me know what you would like to see me try on another video. And I will do a video this weekend. And we'll try the other stuff out. And then you guys can see what I think of the rest of it. But so far, so good. Fantastic company. I'm happy with everything I got. And I look forward to tomorrow to seeing what new stuff comes out and hopefully order some more stuff in the very near future so yeah they're gonna be adding some new countries i don't know what they're gonna be but you know maybe it'll be germany great chocolate in germany anyways we'll see i'll talk to you guys soon have a great day and stay safe bye